Welcome, welcome. Hey guys, I'm here with Franca or Baez, um, one of the prominent um, entrepreneurs in the Facebook organic, organic marketing space. Um, tremendously successful. He's created a tool that's generating millions of dollars with organic marketing. And we have him here today to kind of share some of the experiences. Um, so hey, just pleasure to have you here with us. Dude, thank you so much, David. It's, a, it's an honor, man. I've been always looking to connect with you, bro. So I'm happy we're doing this. Awesome, man. Hey, share some of those exciting success stories you've had with um, organic marketing. Yeah, absolutely. With the organic marketing in general or with Pepper, do you think? Both. Yeah. Okay. So one of the the, the big thing, I, I'll save my story for, for a little bit, but um, that's kind of how I stumbled into organic marketing because I had a crazy big success, but I'll share some of the, 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 the people that I've helped and the people that our tool has helped um, have organic marketing success um, just yesterday. And we get these every day, right? Uh, but I just wanted to, I brought something up here uh, because uh, this is one of our clients that actually are using, you know, Pepper right now. She says, dang, big win. I was messing around with Pepper just to get back in the swing of things. Sent out a welcome message. People started messaging me back, went through my messenger framework, got an owner messaging me. She's in the planning stages for implants, asked to jump on a call. And we got a call booked, a Zoom call in a half hour. So literally she turned it on and in a half hour, got a call booked. Uh, but also the other, some of the crazy things is that like some of our clients are actually booking 19, sale, 19 plus sales calls in literally 24 hours uh, using our tool and then booking, you know, and if you sell high ticket, you know, closing those calls, like your 30, 40, 50% uh, close rate, making 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 a month sales, right? So, and we've had people literally build seven figure businesses um, using not only the strategies, but also the tool that I'm excited to share as well. <laughs> uh, awesome. Just to share our personal story, mm -hmm. we actually had a $200,000 a month just utilizing this platform of the Pepper tool and, and organic marketing. And, um, just very happy and uh, appreciate it, man. You made this possible by making this so simple and streamlined for everyone. So um, it 100% works. If you do it correctly, you can have yeah. big wins and big months. So yeah. I'm happy to dive in more with this. Absolutely, dude. That's a, that's super incredible, man. Like I'm hearing those stories and stuff like that. But the thing is with the software, right? Like you don't get the emails that come in and say, uh, bro, I just closed $200,000. You know what I mean? Like using Pepper and stuff like that. We need to reach out and actually collect some of those. That's yeah. awesome, man. It's incredible. Yeah, it's always like, hey, this thing is glitchy or this thing is glitchy. That's what <laughs> yeah. we don't get. We don't get too much of those. We don't get too much of those. We, we got things <laughs> locked in. But but yeah, you know, like like we got to reach out about that. That's amazing. That's amazing stuff, man. So, hey, just for our viewers that don't really understand like what organic marketing is, can you kind of just give a quick explanation? Organic marketing versus paid marketing and why is organic so so effective? Yeah, so um, just a just a quick recap um, uh, around organic marketing. Um, I stumbled into that like four years ago, and every single dollar to this date I've made has been off of my Facebook profile. So every single dollar I've earned in my business, right, seven figure business, has literally been made, been made off of our Facebook profile. Uh, paid traffic um, are like YouTube ads, uh, Facebook ads, and you know Instagram ads, and so on and so forth that you can just pay money to you know just put yourself out there, right? Organic. And what's powerful about organic is that that um, you're actually using leveraging uh, a free social media platform, right? Like Facebook, uh, where you can just optimize your Facebook profile and then you can start some conversations, uh, find where your, your dream clients hang out on Facebook, like in Facebook groups, for instance, connect with them, start conversations, and then uh, take them from, hi, my name is, to sure, let's get on a call. And on the call, you actually close them on whatever the, the, the programs that you're selling. Right. Uh, so that's the power of, of organic marketing. Um, you get you get uh, uh, really dialed in in your sales messaging, really dialed in in your offer. You know why it doesn't work if somebody doesn't buy. Right. You can actually ask those questions. You're speaking to a human being, whereas the pay traffic, um, it's kind of like the data and you kind of have to guess and stuff like that. Um, I can add on to that. I got I got a little thing that I, I kind of want to share around uh, the difference between paid and organic. You mind if I share? Absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, so the way that I think about the difference between paid and organic is on this time money spectrum, right? And so you got on the far left, um, people who who uh, don't have money and they don't even have time to make money, right? That's like, you know, 5% of the population. We're talking about the, the, the waitress, right? The single mother waitress who you know, can't even afford, right, to pay a nanny to take care of her kids so she can do a side hustle or she can do a part-time job or something like that. She's stuck, right? And then we have on the other side of the uh, spectrum, we have people who have true time and financial freedom, right? So they got both money and time. But I would say the majority of people um, are fall in between, you know, uh, those two realms. So on the left-hand side, like the, the people that are just starting out in their business when they have a lot of time on their hands, right? Money is scarce, right? And then also when you get more successful and money becomes 
you know, more abundant, right, then time becomes scarce, right? So you're going to leverage the resource that you have, right? So um, when you are, when you are, you know, kind of successful already, you've already been making money, you're already at like $50,000, $100,000 plus months and so on and so forth, right? Then it might make sense to jump into paid traffic, right? Because you want to leverage a, the resource that you have the most of. Uh, but when you're first starting out and when you're first, you know, trying to get off the ground up to those 30,000, 40,000, 50,000 plus months, like organic is the way to go, right? Because unless you have a, a savings bank account that is like, you know, really, really big and you have the financial runway, you got to get it to work, right? I always say like in order to sell something, you have to have the right message with the right offer to the right person at the right time, right? So there's a lot of, you know, dials that you need to tweak with organic. You, you understand exactly what it is, uh, why, why something's not working and you can make those adjustments to get your clients quickly. Where with paid traffic, you can be working forever trying to get those dollars to work and never crack the code and go bankrupt before you ever get your business off the ground, right? So that's kind of how I, uh, you know, demonstrate, you know, uh, paid versus organic and when you ought to use it. Man, that's such a powerful explanation. And, you know, speaking to the choir here, our first half a million dollars was purely organic. Um, yeah. And, and by the way, we're going to talk about smart organic versus like the old fashioned way, which is like a turtle like or a snail. Um, you mm. definitely want to leverage um, some of the powerful tools out there, like Pepper, which yeah. we're going to get into <laughs> a little bit later. But uh, yeah, our first um, half a million dollars was all organic, um, organic with a little spice of email follow up. And then mm. we start to put like the paid ads into play and really kind of scaled it up. So 100 yeah. percent agree with you. Um, when you're just starting out, you have to dial in so many different things. You need to have that intimate relationship with your prospects to figure out, hey, was it the copy? Hey, yeah. was it the framework of the sales pitch? And organic gives you the opportunity because it's so cost effective, right? Mm -hmm. Where you can make mistakes and get better as you go. Whereas in paid ads, you're spending so much money. Um, you need to be dialed in because if you go ahead and you, um, you make mistakes there, it can literally bankrupt you or put you in debt before you can even get started. hundred percent. And then you got to test and test and test and test to see when it's going to convert and stuff like that. And it's like a gamble every day. It's like when you're sleeping, you're spending money. When you're awake, you're spending money, right? Versus, you know, with organic, um, you are like, in there and you're actually doing the things and you know exactly you can do real-time tweaks individually you're speaking to somebody you get to see like on a sales call you get to see when somebody's eyes light up you get to see people's responses whenever you you say something in a certain way right that really excites them you get to find out what are the hot buttons that you can press uh to 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 sell more and more and more um of the right fits right yeah mm -hmm. absolutely so how so you kind of touched a little bit about how this kind of impacted you personally when you just started out you were kind of using an organic strategy and you end up making more than a million dollars in revenue bro which is yeah. awesome right so can you tell us a little bit more of your personal story for sure bro yeah absolutely so um four years ago i was actually a warehouse uh manager right so i, I was making 27 dollars an hour and had benefits and everything like that um, at this company called Uline, right? And I remember one day I was sitting there and all we did, literally, this is all I was doing. I was taking boxes off an assembly line, scanning it, opening it up, right? And then checking that everything is in there correctly, tying it back up, putting it back on the assembly line. And I literally felt like they were paying me way more than what I should be earning to do a simple task like that. And like, so it felt like it was draining my soul because I felt like, yo, a chimpanzee could do this, right? Like, I just felt like I was, you know, dying inside. So then what happened, I started to open up my eyes and see like, you know what, uh, I'm a coach for agency owners now, right? So I, so I was actually thinking about starting up my own digital marketing agency. And then uh, I decided to quit my job maybe too early. I had $18,000 in savings and I did what everybody tells you to do. They do cold calling, cold emailing, door-to-door -door sales, pre-COVID, right? Trying to find clients and stuff. And I ended up, because I still had a wife and two kids and I ended up wasting, blowing through my entire life savings, $18,000 in the bank. So we got to the point where I had no money, right? And no income coming in and I had to make a decision, right? I was going to talk to my wife and say like, look, honey, I am willing to go up to $100,000 in credit card debt in order to make this entrepreneurial thing work, right? And so she reluctantly, she, you know, she said, yes, we prayed about it. And so she said, okay, thankfully, I didn't have to go into all that debt, right? But I ended up, um, I don't know if you're familiar with Funnel Hacking Live, Russell Brunson at all, right? So 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course. <laughs> you got the two comic club. Right? Exactly. Right. So, uh, so I went to Fun Hagen Live. Right. Um, on credit, I had to buy the plane ticket on credit. Buy the ticket, thousand dollars on credit. Right. I went there. You know, however many years ago now, and uh, and I was sitting there, and I, again, no money, no income. And then Russell's up there, and he's he's pitching us. Right. So I text my wife, and I'm like, "Baby girl, Russell's pitching me right now. I have no idea what to do. I was a fanboy at that time. Right. And then so she, <laughs> so she messaged me back, and she's like, uh, "Oh no, how much does it cost? Right." And I'm like, he didn't get to the price yet. So I was like, please don't be $5,000 a month. Please don't be $5,000 a month. Right. And then he ends up, you know, revealing the price. It's $1,800 a month or 18,000 for the year. Right. And so I was like, wow, that's more than my mortgage. Right. And then I told her the price. And then, you know, after a while, after a few minutes, she texted me back and all she said, says is I trust you baby right and I was like oh man that's like kind of like not what you want to hear you want her to say like no we can't afford it right so you can just make the decision or just be gone right but she said I trust you baby now I had a decision to make and I was like yo let me jump in you know the first thing he does is obviously build a funnel right but the first thing he does he says yo run uh you know uh, do a couple Facebook lives on your profile to your audience right and I did that and I built in literally in six days I built Three days took me to build the funnel. And then three days later, I did Facebook Lives, okay, to fill the funnel, okay? In six days, I booked 10 sales calls, okay? The next week, I closed seven of them on a $12,000 package. So that was $84,000, more than my entire annual salary the year before. In literally six days, right? That happened. And, and that, ever since then, that was organic. I was like, yo, that is insane. So all we did was just refine the process. And for, for four years now, we just got getting, getting better and better and better at it. And now we've, we've perfected, we've mastered the craft of organic marketing. And then we, we decided to, to tur- turbocharge it and create this really, really awesome tool. Man, I love that story. So um, it took one faith, right? I love the fact that you prayed on it. Um, you put it on credit. You went to the event. You got <laughs> excited. Um, but man, was that rewarded? Six days later, you already made yeah. more than what you made <laughs> the entire year before. Yeah. Like, how powerful is that story? Because I know a lot of us, you know, we know that this is what we should be doing. Mm-hmm. We believe in it. We believe in ourselves. But just that little bit of friction holds us back and it holds you from hitting what you can be instead of what you are right now. Yeah, so let's go, powerful. man. Yes, dude. Yeah. So, so powerful. So let's get into I'm an operations guy. I love like the nitty gritty. And I know, um, you know, our audience is going to love this story. But like, can you kind of walk us through like, hey, you know, what was that strategy that you you kind of implemented to consistently <laughs> get these sales calls booked so that we can close those deals? Yeah, absolutely. So, so it, it's evolved over time, but when we first started, like I mentioned, like I was just putting out a little bit of content and then people were reaching out to me. Right. Uh, and that's what I did. And I, I, I did that for a while and we were making good money. And I was like, how do I, how do I turbocharge this? Right. So I, th- I had the, you know, crazy idea that the people that are my friends are seeing my content. Right. So I was like, why don't I make sure that friends. yeah, people who are friends are seeing my content, right? Exactly, friends, right? You were you were technically you were uh, what's the guy from MySpace, Craig from MySpace? <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly, you. right? So so I remember like uh, by my bed one night, I just said, "Yo, I just had this epiphany." I was just like, "Oh my gosh." Like I I can't have five thousand friends on Facebook. I was like, I want all of them to be the people that are going to see my content. So I just sat my, by my bed. I don't know, for like an hour or something like that. All I did was scroll in some Facebook groups that I found that had these people in there. I just scrolled and I just clicked add friend, add friend, add friend. And the next day I had all these notifications, like a hundred plus notifications of people accepting your friend request, accepting your friend request, accepting your friend request. I was like, oh my gosh, right? And then some of those people reached out to me, right? Once they saw my profile, they saw my content, they reached out to me. I was like, that's genius, right? I just got to keep doing this, right? And then I was like, okay, well, what if instead of waiting for them to reach out, how about I start the conversation, right? And then I started the conversations with them. And then I started to fumble my way through these conversations and introduce myself and everything like that, right? And then I ended up closing, you know, or I ended up getting on sales calls and then I ended up closing these deals. I was like, yo, we have to turn this into a system. And all the projects that we had was just like, you know, off to the wayside. I said, yo, this is it. Right. And so what we did is we were trying to find the Facebook groups. We were going in there trying to find and connect with the right people and then starting those conversations. And we got to the point where we have our messenger scripts 
And, uh, and I was having the same conversations. We refine them so much. I've got had the same exact conversations because I know exactly where they are and I know exactly where they want to go. And I know exactly how to help them. So we're having the same conversations over and over. I had my desktop filled with sticky notes of these like, you know, phrases that I would use. And I would just literally copy and paste inside of uh, messenger conversations that I was having with people. Um, it, it's the same thing. It's the same conversations, right? So I was having these things and I was like copy and pasting it. And I was like, okay, there's so many leads here. I'm like, it's like all falling apart. Like I'm not following up with people, all these different things. And I said, you know, this is getting too much. And I had my executive assistant take over. And I said, okay, you got to do this. This is, you know, what you got to do right now. Like, I, you know, I can't, keep doing this um, because it's so time consuming, even though I can't, we can't give it up because it's making us money. So then she started doing it. And then she had no time for any other projects because the leads were just getting, they were just coming and coming and coming. We couldn't handle it. Right. So we ended up trying to use a, an external CRM and, and every single messenger conversation, if you don't know this, it's um, you have a very specific URL at the top, right? So the conversation that you're having with one person or the other, they, they vary based off of the URL. So we take the URL and put it into uh, like a pipe drive system, right? To find the cards. And then we would have to go through and move them manually through the system. But we had so many people there. It was just out of control Nightmare. to manage all of this. Exactly. And then we got to the, and that's when I had the idea and we got to the point. It's just like, okay, this is now the system. My, I can't do it. My executive says I can't do it. Can we automate this? Right. And I started searching online. There was nothing, right. Nothing out there that even had this remotely possible. Right. So then I was like, that's so big, around, around yeah. this point, like, you know, you had something that was working, just took a ton of time, right? It was tedious, yep. but, but it was working. Around how much revenue per month were you doing around that time? Around, oh, that's a good question. Um, uh, probably I was at, I would say, forty to 50,000, I would say, already. Right. Uh, so, at that time. So I want to, like, you know, for our audience, you know, he was around $40,000 when he started to look like look at a solution to, to kind of streamline this and turn this up, right? This yeah. is why I would say it's so important. You want to start with organic, get yeah. to that 20, 30, 40,000 a month mark before you introduce a solution like paid ads, because again, it's going to be a lot of trial and error, you know, fail to kind of fail forward. I was, a, I was afraid of paid ads. Why? Because I knew like, yo, this is free. I don't have to, I don't, you know what I mean? It doesn't cost yeah. me anything to acquire a client, right? This is free. It just takes my oh, time, right? It was costing time. It was costing time. Exactly. It's just like, yeah. But like in terms of money, it was just like, yo, so that my profit margins were huge, but my time consumption. So that's why I handed off to, so my cost per acquisition was literally how much do I pay my, my executive assistant to do this for me? Right. Yeah. And then I was like, okay, well, even still, it's a very simple process. So I'm paying her a lot of money to do this very simple process. I'm like, okay, well, I need her back. I need her time back. And also too, it's just like, yo, can I just, you know, like, isn't there, there's gotta be something easier way. <laughs> there's gotta be an easier way. Right. There's gotta be an easier way. So then uh, that, at that point, right. Um, being the out of box thinker that I am, no one had this. So I was like, okay, let me talk to developers. How much would it cost actually to build this thing? Right. And so we went and we were looking at all these, uh, uh, you know, developers um, and no, everyone told me it was not possible. Right. It's a headache. You're dealing with Facebook. It's just not possible. Right. And then I got so many no's. I, you know, almost gave up and I had one, the last guy that I talked to. Right. Um, he said, yes, it was possible. But by this time I thought like, yo, the guy's just trying to take my money. Right. He's going to take my money and then he's just going to go. Right. And so he understood it. And then a couple days later, he gave me a prototype unasked for, and he showed me what it could be. Right. And that the functionalities actually worked. And I was like blowing my, like my mind was blown. And uh, my, my wife and I, we actually have date night every single Wednesday. Right. And so driving home when I found this, okay. When he gave me this prototype driving home on date night, right. Like literally my hands were shaking right in the car. I felt like I'm literally one person out of 8 billion people on the planet that is going to have the ability to automate organic marketing on Facebook. And I was like, oh my goodness. And then it became reality. And I was right for like three or four months. I was the only person on the planet that could actually do this until we launched it until we released pepper to the public. Oh, yeah. Man. It's yeah. like, um, no one man should have all that power. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. And so, yeah. And I was, I, I thought to myself, I don't have this extreme competitive advantage. And I thought like, yeah, I wonder how many people would actually use pepper right and since then we've had over two thousand users of pepper so yeah it's crazy 
Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful, man. Yeah. Man, well, I appreciate you letting us know your backstory. I think that's amazing. So, you know, that was the creation of the Pepper Tool, right? So can yeah. you give us a little bit more of like, you know, um, you know, what's the main problem that you feel pep the Pepper Tool actually solves for entrepreneurs? Yeah, so so the big problem, really, it's like uh, going back to that time money spectrum, right? Like you want, I mean, the ideal situation is to have the best of both worlds, right? Like you have the power of paid traffic in that you have unlimited leads, as many as you want, okay? But for the price of organic, right? But the problem with organic is time, right? The problem with paid ads is money, okay? So what if we were able to take away the money aspect of it and also take away the time aspect of it and have unlimited leads for free without costing you time, right? Like that's the problem that Pepper solves, okay? And so, um, uh, you know, in automating the process of organic marketing, you have really the power behind the sales message offer, everything we kind of already discussed, right? But you don't have to do it. And no one in your team has to do it right? It's Pepper is just working for you. It's the best, you know, what we call her like a cyber assistant, right? Because she does all of the heavy lifting, lifting and all you got to do is respond to people who are already dream clients that you want to work with that are qualified and interested in what you have to offer, right? So it's pretty, it's pretty sweet. Yeah. Yeah. That, that sounds almost like not too good to be true, but it sounds like you've taken all the heavy lifting and all of the, you know, the challenges and you've streamlined it where anyone can just you know, get on the tool and start getting clients, like you said, within a half an hour, which is, which is unreal. Yeah. Unreal. Yeah. So yeah. It's really cool. Who, like, who's a good fit for the pepper tool? Like, who does it work for? Great what question. niches that you feel? And also who doesn't, who's not a great fit to use the tool? Great question. That's uh, such a such a powerful question. So um, uh, typically, if you're doing B2B, okay, where let's say that you're a coach or, or a consultant, you're an agency or something like that, right? And you have a service that you provide uh, to other, um, you know, uh, businesses, okay? And the reason why I say this, uh, it, it would probably... It's not that it won't work for B to C, okay? It's just that in B to B, these people identify. So the way that Pepper works is that she's actually going to find these people based off of keywords that they're publicly, you know, um, putting out on Facebook, right? So they might put owner, founder, CEO, um, partner, you know, investor, whatever the case is, right? They're going to put that stuff as like their titles, and that's what Pepper's searching for, okay? So she's not going to be able to search for, um, you know, somebody who is looking to to try and figure out how to how to get their sleep, you know, their kids to sleep at night, right? And they're not going to, you know, she's not going to be able to find the, the, the man that is looking to lose 20 pounds. He's not going to put that on his Facebook profile, right? Does that make sense? Okay. But so to be fair, he might be in a weight loss group. Exactly. So it does. Have. Exactly. So it does work. So let's imagine for a second in those situations, okay, you're looking for a hyper targeted person. You're looking for an entrepreneur that is you know, also looking to lose weight, let's say, okay, those are your, your, your high caliber, high net worth individuals that are looking to get in shape. Okay. Well, the way that Pepper will be able to find them is one, you have to make sure that you're in the right Facebook groups, right? And so the Facebook groups, now those are easy to find, right? The Facebook groups um, around weight loss, let's say, okay. And then Pepper is going to scan inside of there for the entrepreneurs, the owners, the founders, the CEOs, the, you know, like the, like all the, the partners, right. All the high caliber, high net worth individuals that you want to find and extract out of that particular Facebook group. So now we have, you know, the best of both worlds. We have the right person because we know that if he's in that Facebook group, we know that that's what he's looking for. And then we are connecting with, uh, the right people out of that group. Right. So, so yes, it does work in that industry, um, uh, specifically as well. So, um, yeah, but that's kind of, I mean, if the, I guess the answer to your question is if you can find your clients on Facebook and you can do it manually, Pepper can do it for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, love that explanation. Love that explanation. A lot of clarity there. Yeah. Um, Franco, can we kind of like get a sneak peek of how the tool for sure, works? For sure. you weren't really like, you know, prepared for that, but I love <laughs> to kind of show our audience just like, Hey man, you know, the visuals. So Absolutely. Absolutely. A hundred percent. Right. So um, going back to kind of what I, what I mentioned of all the problems that I was personally experiencing, they say that the greatest tools are, are created, born out of real world problems. And I was experiencing a real world problem. So I created Pepper the way that I wanted to use it essentially. Right. Uh, so selfish in that respect. Right. So, um, so we have 
Pepper has four main features, okay? So she's gonna find your dream clients and she's gonna send friend requests. She's gonna fill up your 5,000 friend uh, limit with dream clients. So just imagine having 5,000 people of your dream prospects that you want to work with, looking at your stuff and in communication with you inside of Messenger, okay? So she does that, finding the right people. And then the second thing is she sends out welcome messages. She starts conversations. She start, starts chats inside of Messenger on your behalf customized with their first name right so so hey bill hey hey jonah hey susan etc cetera, etc cetera, and starting the conversation with them right and then from there she has those canned responses remember the sticky notes that we talked about all over my desktop right she has that inside right where you can actually literally click a button and then instead of talking to 20 people in an hour you can talk to 100 people in an hour because you're having the same conversations over and over again she puts your 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 you know fingers right at like 100 times the speed okay which is really awesome um and then finally we had to figure out a way to uh, figure out the whole uh, CRM, you know, side of it. Like, how do we make sure that we follow up with every single lead? And we've even automated the follow-up process around it. So it's pretty cool. Let me go ahead and show you uh, kind of what that looks like. Okay. And it, you know, David, as we do this, um, if you have any questions or any questions you think that people would have, you know, like ask me and then we can, uh, you know, we can, we can help people out. Okay. Hey man, cool. really appreciate this and you getting it up and running it. Woo. Okay. I, I know this group. Yeah, exactly. So this, so this group, right? Like for me, I'm a coach for agency owners, right? So the way that I use Pepper is I'm looking for agency owners. So, um, so I, I'm taking it that you can see my screen, right? So in this, in this group here, all you would do, you would find a group where you know your agency, your 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 clients actually live in, right? So high level is a a, a software that agency owners use, right? So the people that are in this group are interested in a software that agency owners only use, right? So I know I'm in the right group, okay? So once I get into the right group, uh, and I know this because I have all these a lot of these are my clients, <laughs> but in, in any way, right. Uh, we are in members here. We just go to the members tab right here. And then, uh, when you go into the members tab, actually, I'm going to refresh this page so you can kind of like see, uh, what I mean, but when we're in the, uh, uh let's just see here. I'm gonna go out of here and back here. Okay. So when you're in the members tab right here, Okay. You have, if you scroll down, you can see like, you know, admins and moderators, group experts. If you're just starting out using pepper, we want to make sure we're flying underneath the radar of Facebook. So one of the things I like to recommend to everybody is to start with the things in common, members with things in common, right? Uh, and you should have, if you're you know, in the same industry, you should have some people with things in common. Facebook is going to say, oh, cool. You might know this person, right? And then instead of like a, a perfect stranger. So we'll go into the members of things in common section, and then I'll click on uh, uh, Pepper. And then um, we have, we can send out 50. Uh, so if you've ever heard of like, you know, Facebook jail or Facebook, you know, shutting down your profile for like 24 hours, whatever the case is, um, that happens whenever you're doing some too much of something too fast. Okay. So too much of something too fast. So we've put limitations inside of pepper, right. That mimic human behavior to make sure that you never get flagged from Facebook. Okay. And the problem is, is that us entrepreneurs, okay. We want speed. We want to move fast. We want to be like, yo, I don't want to sit here and just, I want to click add friend, add friend, add friend, friend, you know what I mean? Do it manually like this. And then you just get blocked by Facebook. Cause they're like, what are you doing, bro? Right. We wanted, we wanted the result yesterday. We wanted the result yesterday. Exactly. Exactly. Right. So, but at the same time, we want to make sure that it works too and your profile is protected. Right. So, what we have done is that we put limitations in. And so, we have 50 friend requests that you can send every single day, which is more than enough. Okay. And then we start conversations. We start 20 conversations every single day, which is more than enough. It really becomes a snowball effect. Uh, so, we'll put uh, 50 here and you, know, you can decide however many you want. Right. But then uh, the templates sections are pretty much the keywords that we're looking for and the message that we're going to be sending out when we start the conversation. So in this case, I want to make sure that I'm, you know, looking for agency owners, right? If I was a marketing agency looking for coaches, well, then I might use this one instead, right? Um, because now I'm looking for coaches. So in this case, I'm in this group and I'm looking for agency owners. If you click on this button, it'll just send it to everybody in the group, but I want to be very particular with the type of people that I want to connect with. Okay. So click send friend request and that's it. And I'm done. And Pepper's doing the work. I can go play basketball. I can go do this, whatever the case is. And Pepper is just going to go in and she's going to find the right people for me to connect with. Okay. Uh, and what's cool about it is that while she's doing this internally, what she's doing is she's storing all the data and she's saying, Hey, this person, uh, we sent a friend request to, and, uh, he did not accept yet this person we sent a friend request to, and he did accept. So all I have to do is click a button and then it'll automatically start sending welcome messages out for me. OK, um, so you'll see here uh, she's skipping through certain people. Right. Uh, so she skipped over Kevin Paul. Why? Because he does not have or actually no, Kevin Paul does have uh, or no. She yeah, she skipped over him um, and she's looking for 
um, you know, somebody that is going to have a keyword uh, that we're going to to find. So I'm trying to see. So uh, Sashanka, okay, he's a CEO at Brute Media Group. Okay, so I'm sure I have media and CEO in here. Okay, so she's going to do her thing, right? And you can see she opened up a tab in the back. Okay, and in the background, without disrupting you, she's going to make sure that um, you know this is the right person that we really want to connect with, and then uh, she's going to send him a friend request. Okay, so boom, uh, keyword match, media and CEO, just like that. OK, and then she's going to take a second. She's like, yo, it's time for my break. OK, <laughs> and the reason why is because she doesn't want Facebook to, you know, to, to to flag her or anything like that. Right. So what's happening is that she's going to say uh, we have a randomized timer um, uh, up to seven minutes where she's going to send out the next friend request down to the millisecond. OK, and what that means to Facebook is just like, oh, cool. You're just browsing. You're really finding the right people and and everything like that. And there's going to be no harm, no foul. Right. So that's why we, we did it that way. OK, so while she's doing that, um, I can go ahead and show you uh, some of the other features. OK, so over here, um, you know, in the sent friend request section, this is where she's like, uh, you know, keeping all of her data and stuff like that. So if I load this, um, it might take a second. I just set up I just set up this uh, new demo version because. I mean, I was using this since like October, 2019 and stuff like that. So it just take forever for me to load uh, my stuff here. But you can see here, uh, we just said this. So for instance, Dylan um, accepted our friend request and Shashanka is the guy that we just connected with. He did not accept it, okay? So all I gotta do is click on messages and then I can click on send welcome messages and that's it. She knows the message she's gonna send out customized. She knows uh, the person that we sent message out to last. She knows if we sent out a message, she knows she's never going to mess you up. Right. Uh, so now she's going to run through and just, you know, get caught up on, and she's checking the database of all the things that have happened before. And so next message will be sent to James Kemp. Okay. So uh, what's going to happen is that uh, she's going to tell us whenever she does that. Okay. This is the message template. Hey, what's going on? Came across your profile. So you, whatever the, the template was, yep. and then she's going to go ahead and uh, find him and send out a message to him. Now, the only situation, you know, with James is that um, I'm pretty sure I know him. <laughs> so he's going to be like, uh, Franco, right? Uh, so message sent just like that, right? So now we can check in Messenger, right? And she has one out of 20 welcome messages sent, okay? Uh, so I'll go ahead and stop that for now. Uh, but you can check inside of Messenger, right? James, okay? It's going to say, hey, James, what's going on? Came across your profile, saw you in the digital marketing space. Do you, do you run an agency? Just like that, okay? Mm -hmm. So... Now Pepper could be sending out friend requests and she could be sending out welcome messages and I don't have to do anything, okay? Since we're here, okay. Oh, sorry. Do you have any questions around that, Dave? David? Um, yeah, I have tons of questions, but I'm going to yeah, limit okay. them um, just, you know, because we're going to keep this as short as possible. Okay, cool, um, yeah. All right, so number one, it sounds like, hey, we're going to find the right people. The tool is intuitive and smart enough to say, okay, first we're going to start with people that have things in common so that way you're most likely to get um, get your connection percentage ratio higher. And Facebook mm -hmm. loves that, right? Exactly. Um, number, one. number two, the tool is also smart enough to mimic human behavior where it's not just friend request, friend request, friend request, friend request, and all of a sudden, Facebook jail, Facebook jail, Facebook jail. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's okay, these are the 100 people I'm targeting. I'm going to do a friend request here, friend request there, pause, wait a little bit, you mm -hmm. know, scroll around, and then go ahead and continue this action. So you, the entrepreneur, the business owner, can go do other things, more valuable things to continue growing your business while this right. is working in the background on autopilot. Correct. A hundred percent. Yes. Yeah. And then third, it organizes everything where, hey, you know, I sent out 50, uh, 50 friend requests, 20 of them connected with me, you know, in one day. And I'm going to, OK, go ahead and send my first message to engage. But another 10 um, accepted it yet tomorrow, it knows that. So this way you can go ahead and, and, and easily engage with those people as well. Um, mm -hmm. it, it looks beautiful thus far. So yeah. I Thank did you, notice, man. you're welcome, man. And I, I did <laughs> notice in the inbox, your inbox looked different than someone who is, you know, just using a Facebook messenger. You have yep. VIP status, you have, it looks like you have more juice there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So what I what I uh, did was um, we had the problem with the uh, with the CRM and stuff like that. Um, I've actually never what the oh, I'm just annotating there. Oh, okay. I was I was like, I was like yeah, 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 Pepper's yeah, yeah. going crazy, bro. <laughs> I'm like, I've never seen that happen. I was like, maybe my developers just like came up with something brand new. I don't know. All right, but that's hilarious. Um, 
<laughs> that's funny. Uh, so annotating, right? Exactly. So these, these, uh, uh, let me, let me talk about the CRM right now, right? So uh, if you click on pepper icon right here, um, it'll pull down all of these different, um, you know, uh, tags. Okay. Now I just wanted to share these in particular. And again, I just started off a brand new demo version so I can actually uh, show this. Uh, but this is like the sales pipeline. We want to make sure the way that we built pepper was we're literally trying to advance people into sure. Let's get on a call or you're a lost lead, right? Like a dead lead. Okay. So we're trying to navigate the conversations. Okay. So uh, the people that she's going to send out a friend request to, we want to categorize under new friend. Okay. So for instance, she sent uh, James Kemp, a new friend thing. Right. Uh, and then uh, we want to move him down the pipeline. So as he responds, okay, we're going to move people down into initial lead. I do initial lead whenever I, um, you know, make sure that I'm talking to the right person. This guy does in fact run an agency. Right. And then we move on to a, you know, a hot lead and then a book call and then a deposit and then a client. Okay. And then we have three follow-ups that we do, right. We say, um, if he goes to me three times, then, you know, um, quantity exactly. Right. But we're going to follow up with people. And then we have lost leads, okay? And so really the goal is to fill the lost leads bucket as much as possible and then clean out your friends list based off of those lost leads, okay? Which Pepper can do. Um, and then you have any other tags that you want to create. Let me, so let me jump in here. Yeah. Because yeah. So Facebook has that 5,000 people per limit, right? Yeah. So let's say, you know, you, you're using this tool for the next three years, you build up 5,000 connections, but if you're doing this properly, you'll still be able to say, hey, out of this 5,000, I have 1,700 lost leads who just aren't engaging. I can clean this all out just in one swoop. And now I have another room for 1,700 true prospects in year exactly. number four. That's exactly. A hundred percent. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Thousand percent. And so it's really easy. So for instance, like new friend, right? It shows you how many people are in a tab. All you got to do is click on this and it'll show everybody that's in here. Okay. And what, what's cool is that you can actually start conversations with people just by clicking on chat. So you can, so remember what I had to do is I had to click, you know, open up a new external, you know, framework, whatever the case is and start conversations uh, with people like that. I can go back in into here and click on James and it'll pull him back up. Right. I could click on VIP, right. And go into our conversations or whatever the case is, and then, uh, and pull those up as well. Right. Love so it. it's really yeah. easy to, to, to communicate with people. So imagine you have a virtual assistant, a setter, right. Their job, the only job is to set appointments with you for those sales calls. Right. Um, a lot mm -hmm. of entrepreneurs, they're at that stage at that step. So now they can easily, I'm going to annotate really quickly. Hey, um, click on anyone that's in hot lead, you know, so every day they come into work, they start with the hot leads and say, hey, this is going to be, you know, 19 people or hundreds or over 100 people of people that like they've gone to the point where they're showing interest. They just haven't booked yet. So they can start their day off. Hey, let me get my hot leads. Let's book for calls and then go ahead and start the next, you know, the next process. This is this sure. is brilliant stuff process wise. Yeah. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Yeah. So that, I mean, that, that is kind of the process here. And then the other thing that I wanted to do is like, and you can change people, right? You just move them just by marking them right here. And so he was a new friend, right? And it goes back to zero and then you click on initial lead and there he goes. Right. Um, so it's really simple. It's, it's seamless. Um, and uh, the other thing that I wanted to, to share as well is, um, <coughs> um, is the can responses feature. Okay. So uh, James, if I wanted to to message James um, and, and talk to him about my, about Pepper, right? About either becoming a Pepper affiliate or, or, you know, purchasing Pepper, whatever the case is, I could just literally go into, I was like, oh, what do I say to this? Right. What should I say here? Okay. And just go into, you know, this and just click on Pepper and I say, okay, cool. Oh, look, this is a good question. How are you getting your clients? Are you using Facebook by chance? Instead of me typing all that stuff out, this is where you can talk to 20 people instead of hundred people. I click this button and it just puts it in right here, just like that, like magic. Okay. Just like that. All right. And if I clean this up, I can do something like this. Boom. Just like that. Okay. And what's cool is that you can even do images as well. Right. So you can even send images um, and get, and get uh, people like, and this is the entire framework, right? Mm -hmm. How are you getting your clients? You're using Facebook by chance. Sweet. Yeah, I do too. All I do is this. Do you do anything like that? Yeah, I do. Hey, the reason I was reaching out, it seems like you're getting your clients and all the whole conversation it's guided. He, I know his responses and I just literally click on the next button. That's pretty awesome, man. I do and teach the same strategy to my students. I just launched something pretty big. It's going to be a game changer for organic marketers. That's it. And I can show her pepper and everything like that. Click on this and then it'll populate this and I can send a picture, right? So it's, it's really, really awesome uh, with the can responses feature um, as well. Yeah. No, I love that. that that's yeah. So. Hey, 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 I really appreciate you like taking the time to like you know, lift it, lift the hood and showing us the engine, how this thing works. Sure. Um, sure. I, mean, 
I'm sure right now, you know, if you're watching this, if you're viewing this, you're salivating. How can I get a hold of this? How can I implement this process in, into my sales process? Um, I think it, it speaks for itself. But honestly, you know, tools are only as good as the people that use it. Um, mm -hmm. But the, the better the tool, the, the farther you're going to go. So this just makes the whole Facebook organic systematized. It's processed. It's going to be very easy. It's going to be very fast for you to start to see results. Um, so just phenomenal job. And as a user, I want to say thank you to you for building. Yeah, thank you, man. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that. And I know I know that uh, your audience is going to see it and want to get a hold of it and stuff like that, right? So, um, you know, I'm sure underneath this video somewhere there's going to be that, uh, but, you know, that, that button that they can click to sign up. But we do actually have a 14-day free trial. So if you click on uh, David's uh, button down below, um, it's a 14-day free trial. So literally, just think of it like some of our clients have booked 19 sales calls in 24 hours just with this tool, right? So like, if you were to do that over the course of 14 days, it'd be very difficult not to get a client, right? In that time. And so the point is, is that we wanted to make it so, so, uh, you know, foolproof, right? That you have enough time to get off the ground, to get running and to be able to get a few clients and so on and so forth before you ever pay us a dime, right? Um, that's that's our strategy. That's our goal because we know that once you fall in love with it, like there's no going back, right? And that's how we've had over 2000 plus users continue to do the same thing and things just keep getting better. Um, one, of the, one of the recent uh, changes that we've had is that we actually have two uh, Zoom calls uh, for I think like an hour or hour and a half each um, where you can jump on and either get troubleshooting things. We can teach you organic marketing. We can help you set up your tags. We can help you find the right Facebook groups, whatever you, whatever problems you are in order to have success with our product, we're there. Our team is there to help you out twice a week um, at the same time. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Yeah. Well, Franco, hey, thank you so much for um, giving us your time today. Thank you so much for creating this solution. It's a real problem. It's, um, it's almost like an unfair competitive advantage. So, um, yeah. no, but hey, you get access to it, which is beautiful. Um, hey, man, really appreciate you. And, you know, we'll have you back on to just share sure, some updates and, you know, what's next, man, in your success journey. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. It's been a pleasure and an honor, dude. Thank awesome. you, man. Hey, take care, everyone. Appreciate it.